Yes, yes, y'all. That's Mercules. Merc, big Merc, all the way on the west coast of Canada. On Canada Day, we got him on the phone. What's up, brother? Oh, a little bit of this, a little bit of that. In there like swimwear. You know how it is, man. It's a beautiful day in Alberta right now. I'm just living life. Nice, how nice. I'm good. I'm good, man. Just chilling out, having uh having a nice relaxed day here on Canada Day, enjoying the good weather that's out there and yeah, just uh, it's probably beautiful out there right now too, eh? Yeah, it's nice, man. How is it on the west coast? Not bad, man. It's it's not too bad. I mean I'm in Alberta so I'm sure it could be nicer in a few other places where it's a little hotter, but it's nice, man. I got no complaints. I might go hit the fireworks later or something. Word up, word up. Michael let up let off a few yourself, maybe? Yeah, but I uh, last time I did that on tour, we almost actually started a whole field on fire, so I, I might not be allowed to have the lighter this time. <laughs> that can happen, man. You got to watch yourself. Don't blow up you or yeah, blow exactly. up anything else, I guess, too. No doubt. Yeah, and that that's a message to everybody out there. Please be be you know careful tonight i know you're gonna get liquored up and everyone's drunk and and has a lighter and a firecracker but like yeah be careful and just remember that there is such thing as a cab you know what i'm saying yes you guys can call cabs when you get too wasted yes no need to american no need to drive drunk no doubt i don't even drive so i don't gotta worry about that (laughs) i drive myself crazy but that's about it i like it i like it word up Yes, yes. So how's uh, how's things been, man? You're out there. Um, you're getting tatted up right now, right? Yeah, I just got the, the Buddha from the last video tattooed on my arm, so I'm pretty stoked on that. It looks really sick. I'm just out here at uh, Art and Soul Tattoo in uh, Red Deer, Alberta. Word up. Shout-outs to them. No doubt. That's cool. So the Buddha from the from the last video? Yeah, it was something I wanted to get for a while. I mean, it's like cause everybody, that's like the most memorable... Uh, seen from that video and that being our biggest video i figured it was about time so i like it i like it that's no, cool no. Uh, no that's that's probably one of the scenes in it that makes you laugh the hardest when you're like smiling and just like chuckling at the buddha and you you both look like very very strikingly yeah. similar Shout out to Kubrick for that idea man who came up with that that was all stewie man he, he actually had this like warehouse where like in this warehouse it's just filled with props so you can like basically set up like any kind of setting like you could be at like a medieval dinner or you could like make like pretty much any setting you can imagine you know what i mean you could just throw all these props together and just create whatever you want and he was like hey man he's like you got to take your shirt off and pass the joint to the buddha and i'm going to film it but in the video and at first i was like questioning it like if it would look corny but then after i saw it i was like yes this is amazing so (laughs) up to him for that Definitely, I yeah, know he's 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 good with it, man. His visualization on stuff and 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 doing the doing the scenes and everything. Every video that he shot is dope, and that one is definitely one of the best ones. But you just released a new one. Uh, we played it on the air here. The the deep end track. That's uh, that's killer, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Me and Snack are gonna shoot a video for Save Us this week. Well, we already shot some stuff, but we're gonna finish it. So that's coming soon too. Dope. Looking forward to that. Yes, that's a heavy no, track. Man. No doubt. Word up! So you've got the uh, the album out. How's uh, how's it feel now that you've you've done your tour? I know we got a chance to talk before, just before your uh, show here in Guelph. But now that you've uh, got back home and the album's out, and you've had a chance to tour the country and do your your own oh, yeah. f- solo headlining tour, um, what was it like to recap on on all that? Like having the having the new album out and and getting a chance to tour like that. It was dope, man. I'm really stoked about like the feedback and everything that I've got on the album. Uh, I'm kind of in a position now where now that it's out there and I've kind of been t- taking it easy for a bit and I'm making music that I'm ready to start working on the next one. I mean, like I kind of like, okay, now I can just chill out for a bit and then a week later I'm like, hey, I want to get back to work. But as far as the feedback goes from everybody, it's been really good, man. So I got no complaints when it comes to that. The tour was really good. I'm ready to get back on the road. I'm going to Spain in October and doing UK and a bunch of other places lined up so i'm really excited to get out there again i seen you were just out in europe too right yeah yeah europe is the spot right now man it's like amazing for was that? it was dope we did uh did a show in amsterdam one up in rotterdam and then there were some uh, canadian showcases for madame down in uh southern france in Cannes. and it was uh oh, it, was, it was dope man like cool to just like see see everything there but just like to to vibe out you know the the type of hip-hop that you know is like the underground sound uh you know what i mean it doesn't really get as much play per se over here but over there in europe it's like that's what they're all about they yeah it's crazy they like, love i think it. i've said it before on 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 
when you interviewed me before, but I remember, uh, yeah, it's crazy because out there, like, they don't speak English, but they know all the words to everything, and it's cool because, like, nobody's, like, subject to listening to just one kind of music. Out here, it's kind of clicky. It's like you either like one kind of music and that's it, but out there, it's like they have an appreciation for everything. So it's really rad. Was that your first time in Amsterdam? Uh, I was out there earlier in January and, okay, uh, and got a chance to perform as well. Big shout-outs to Dio. He, uh, he took me out when, uh, when he was heading out there for something and uh, for Eurosonic and just, like, I don't know, just good, good atmosphere, man. This last time that I was just out, though, I actually I was I went up like a week early just to like check things out and stuff, and I ended up going to um, a, a funk dubious show. Oh, sick! That was packed. It was insanity, and then I went to one that following week with Homeboy Sandman and Jay Live. Oh, dope. That's right. Yeah. So, and they were they were both really good shows, and I got a chance to like meet the person who put on those shows and uh, and hang out with them. And big shout outs to Sandy out there in, in Amsterdam. Uh, and now she, you know, might be the person to to book me out there next time. So. Yeah, man, it's all about building, bro, for sure. It was cool too because when we were out there, uh, actually, where were we? We were in Bulgaria, actually, and we did a show. And uh, I guess I think it was Cypress Hill or something like that was playing the same night so we were kind of worried that the shows might kind of clash but it ended up being like at two totally different times so all the hip-hop heads went to both shows which was really cool and then uh i believe uh sun doobie or i think it was sun doobie came out and all those guys came and checked our show out after so it was cool to see all them there too that's mad dope that's mad mad dope <laughs> yeah man it was awesome for sure i can't wait to get back out there man i love europe Shout out to the homie Grassy too. He's the one who who like sets up all of our Spain stuff out there. They got like a whole crew of like SDK people, like guys in Spain, like this dude Foyon. He's really dope. So shout out to him too. Uh, I'm actually going to be doing a short project with him before I go out there to hype the tour up and just start building with those guys. So shout out to them too for sure. That's dope, man. Spain's a great hip hop scene. I've heard like just um, even in our last conversation, you kept saying like that was one of the best places that you guys had went to on the tour was like just a really really hype crowd and people go go nuts for it. And and you're saying again is the fact that like a lot of them can't even really speak fluent English, but they can they somehow have deciphered a way to to rap along with your lyrics, which is crazy. Yeah, for sure. And then like last definitely helped us out with that too, because I mean if you look at the analytics on YouTube. You can see that, like, I think probably, like, at least, like, 50% at the very least is, is mostly, like, views from Europe, right? So, yeah, Europe yeah. just, like, totally, some guy just drove by in his souped-up Honda Civic and thought he was a tough guy, my bad. But, yeah, <laughs> man, it, was, it was definitely, uh, that, that track definitely helped us a lot when it comes to touring Europe. So, it's awesome. It's kind of weird sometimes to think that sometimes we get more support out there than we do in our own country, but... For the most part, I mean, I can't complain, right? That's part of the reason why we're out there so much. So, well, it's just a, a basic numbers game, right? And I, I've checked the the analytics too. On, I was even just looking at the the one from the the homies video that me and Snack got, and just like, yeah, same thing. I've got like just in the last month, like half of the views, like five thousand from Canada, and then the other five thousand are from all European countries, like Spain and and uh, Hungary and stuff like that, the Netherlands and Czech Republic, and I'm just like, wow, like that's where people are really consuming this music is over in europe yeah exactly man yeah europe's the europe's the best man but i mean we can't talk too much about europe it's canada i know i know really we're supposed to be talking about canada here <laughs> Jeez, get back on topic here so back on canada canada is awesome we have a great support system awesome artists in canada people like stealth bomb records artists snack the ripper jacqueline g mercules on the air right now so yeah let's go with it. the robbie g ever ever oh after that you know what I'm <laughs> <laughs> I like it. I like it. Hit him with it. Hit him with it. Always, yeah. man. You know that. I got your back. <laughs> we got we got a good country here, though. No, definitely. It and uh, and you just had a chance to to travel across the whole thing. Um, what would you say was uh, was one of your favorite cities that you got a chance to to rock in, as far as the crowd goes? And then hit me with one of your favorite cities that you enjoyed, just the uh, the culture and community, and maybe a favorite restaurant or something that you got a chance to check out. Um, I'd probably have to say like. As far as shows go, like, obviously, like, uh, I'm not just saying this to be biased, but Guelph's always good. Like, a lot of the Ontario places are rad. Saskatoon's a really good place for us. It's crazy because we sell a lot of gear there, sometimes even more than we do in, like, Surrey and Vancouver. So Saskatoon's always really good. Red Deer, where I am right now, is really, really good always, all the time. Um, Calgary, all these places are really – it's cool just to see them grow, like, to go across the country, come back, and then every time it gets a little bit bigger – 
So uh, it's hard for me to really pinpoint which ones I would say are the best. But as far as culture goes, I'd probably have to say I like Montreal the best for that, man. Because yeah. It's, it's awesome out there, man. Like, uh, if I was ever to, like, move farther, like, away from where I am in Canada and I had the choice, it would probably be somewhere like Montreal or Toronto like that. You know what I mean? Because, like, culture-wise, Montreal is a shit, so... Yeah, Montreal is is beautiful. I love the the graph art there. It's crazy, but like they got wicked food. It's uh it's just a sweet place. Yeah, for sure. The graffiti culture out there is awesome. It's crazy. I know it's nice, nice, uh, nice vibes out there. One thing I wanted to ask you, um, because I was getting talking with uh, with one of my boys today, Jay Aches, and he was saying about the uh, the thing that was released with Double XL, the freshman uh, something about artists in in Canada that were like next to blow coming up or whatever, right? And yeah. uh, and he had commented something about uh, you had made a post about it, and because your name wasn't on it, which in my opinion it definitely should have been. Like you're probably one of the hardest grinding. guys guys in Canada right now and as far as numbers go um you probably are bringing in more views more sales than a lot of the artists in Canada and a lot of the artists that were on that list were like uh, quote unquote nobodies you know what I mean so I just wanted to hear from your I don't want to say nobody like they didn't deserve that spot but I really feel like there's a lot of other artists in Canada on the freshman side that really um are, are just as deserving, if not more deserving, than for those yeah, spots. For sure. So I just um, want to hear I, I your opinion. I don't want to speak on it too much, but I will say that a couple of the people on there I know personally and I respect and I think are definitely MCs that are, are to be looked out for. But as far as that thing goes, man, I don't even really think that's real. You know what I mean? Like when I commented, all I said was LOL and that I thought it was corny. I, and the thing is, is, I don't want to, the reason why I say I don't want to speak on it too much is because I don't want people to hear this and then go research all these dudes and then give them exposure that's undeserving. But at the end of the day, I feel like, uh, I feel like that thing's not even real, man. Like if I see it, if I see it, like a page in double XL that's featuring all those guys and all the power to them. Congratulations. But I mean, if we're really going to talk about numbers and we're really going to talk about hard work, not one person on there is really deserving. You know what I mean? It just is what it is. If somebody's going to hear this interview and get salty about it, hit me up and we can, we can figure that out ourselves. But as far as, as far as I think, man, I mean, like, like there's, there's a, like, I'm not trying to sound conceited or egotistical, but there's... No, man, it's real. It's would, facts. There's so many people on that should have been on there if it was real, but the fact that it's not real and that, it, it, in my eyes, it's just like, it's almost like a spoof. Like, if you watch the Cyphers, dude, they were made on iMovie, you know what I mean? Like, and I'm, I'm trying my best not to, not to speak on it too much, but it, it definitely angered me a little bit, but... Speak on it, brother. <laughs> like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm sorry, I don't mean to fan, fan the fire here and give fuel to it, but, like, for real, this stuff needs to be said because I don't, like, there's a lot of... Industry it, it misleads the pu- the public, you know what I mean? Like people read Double XL all over the world, even in in the states, uh, a big portion of them, you know what I mean? And when they're not accurately accurately representing the people that are really doing it, it's just it's it's false statement, and that's why you're saying like this is th- yeah. it's not even true. It doesn't even exist, really. And, and it's funny you mentioned that because the, what you just said there was that the people that read Double XL, right? But the thing is, is the people that read Double XL, I don't think are ever even going to hear about it. And and Double XL, I mean, is mostly American based, and if that's what's going to represent us as a as a country as whole, that's just going to make us look bad. And I'm not really going to like get too much into it, but I do know that like I personally don't think you're going to see a page about that in Double XL. Like I said, if you do, then the couple, there's a couple guys on there. Like I think Young Stitch was on there in the CPK. Yeah. I like both those guys. I don't know the other guys, so I'm not going to speak on them. I haven't even heard their stuff, but. I will say that like Young Stitch and BGK are two guys that I know personally, and I think they're they're dope rappers. So all the power to them. But at the end of the day, it's like really, man. You know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know, man. Yeah. I, I was contemplating like like really going in on that whole thing, but then I was like, it's not even worth the time because if I'm going to take time out of my day to go in on everything that I think is like corny and 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 uh, undeserving, then I wouldn't even have enough time in my day to work on the shit that matters. You know what I'm saying? So at the end of the day, it's, it is what it is, man. It's whatever. I think it's funny, really, at the end of the day. Like, there's definitely some, uh, like, uh, comedic value to it, if you have to be <laughs> honest. But it, it is what it is, man. 
which you pick to pick apart that stuff excellently like i love i love catching your post man and i wanted to to even talk on that because you've got to this point now where you've developed like a really solid following people are paying attention to what you're doing what you're saying and stuff like that so it's interesting just to hear you even speak on on that uh that side of things that you're really conscious of like i don't even want to speak on on this or like give any light to this because it's going to give light to the people that are undeserving you know what i mean like what what is that like And, and when i say that it's not even that those guys aren't hard work workers or that or that they're whack rappers or anything it's just at the end of the day it's just there's this thing called common sense that's in the back of my head all the time <laughs> sometimes i let it get the best of me sometimes I, sh- I care too much about about stuff like that when i shouldn't because i already know that i'm in a position right now where everything's going good for me and i shouldn't really care but yeah man i mean it, it's hard for me not to just freak out and speak my mind sometimes but that's pretty much my opinion on the whole situation you know what i mean i'm not knocking anybody that's that's involved as far as the artistry goes and the artist behind it, but whoever put that together has obviously got their hands in some drugs and whatever they're smoking, I'd like to get my hands on it myself. So, But it's crazy, though, because I think a part of it, too, is also, and I don't want to speak on this too much, I don't want the interview focused on this, but still, it's like I feel like a lot of the people that are writing for that or like creating that list are not paying attention to what's really going on. I'm sure somebody's pockets got thick over that whole situation. That's all i got to say. You know what I mean? Like, I, I feel like at the end of the day, like, uh, nobody's just going to go out of their time to make a fake double XL freshman list for Canada, pick a bunch of rappers, and then throw it on the internet for no reason. You know what I mean? Somebody must have made some money off of that or something like that. I don't know what's going on behind the scenes, but that's just my opinion. You know what I mean? Yeah. No, I feel you. I feel you. I, it's sounds pretty accurate just because of uh what what was there so far but at the, again shout outs to the people who did do 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 well i the only person i really know on that was young stitch and and i know him over here and he's he's dope cat so shout outs to yeah, him for sure. he made it he killed it killed his cypher but yeah that's enough on that enough on double xl back to canada now canada Day. I, I feel like that situation was just xl not double xl you know what i'm saying yeah maybe a medium or maybe even an extra small if we really want to get down to the, the roots here but it is what it is I feel you. I feel you. I feel you. Yes. Let's uh, let's let's say that. Let's yeah, say that. man. It's Canada Day, man. It's beautiful, bro. Weather's great. I'm sure there's some nipples flying somewhere right now. I should be looking at. This is what it is. We just had. To, that's how I change the subject. I just talk about tits. It works every time. It's beautiful. It's perfect, man. I like that. <laughs> <laughs> tits. We need more tits. No doubt. So yeah, back on uh, back on your tip though. I wanted to ask you how are you doing uh, health and fitness wise. Last time we were talking, you were like knocking them off quick and hitting the gym a lot. How uh, how are things going on that front? It's been good, man. I mean, like obviously there's sometimes where I fall off and I'm just like, yeah, I should be working harder at this than I am right now. But and especially like we were saying last time, being on tour is a really hard thing to keep up with. Now that I'm home, it's a little bit different. Um, I've actually moved recently, so I'm trying to get my treadmill from BC out to where I've been living. So. It's kind of hard for me to do that, but at the same time, uh, it's really just about choices. Sometimes I'll fall off and I'll put on like a couple pounds and then I'll be like, yeah, I need to get back on my game. When I say a couple, it's only like two or three. I would never let it get out of hand, but it's bad, man. Like sometimes I'll, 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 I'll have like a cheat meal and I'll just feel like, like shit for a couple of days over it. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's gotten to the point now where sometimes like I'll hit the gym like two, three times a week. And then if I have my little cheat meal and I, and I, and I'm like feel guilty about it. Then the next day, I'll, I'll, I won't, like, fast for the entire day and not eat or anything like that, but I'll just have, like, little meals. And it, it's dope because I found out recently that you can have, like, ten little snack, like, meals all day long if you want. And, and, and because if you just have one big meal and then don't eat for the rest of the day, your body almost goes into shock. And it takes that one big meal that you ate and turns that into fat because it doesn't know what it's supposed to do because it's confused. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? So, yeah. so I've just been trying new things like different diets, like, I have a calorie counter app on my phone, so I'll be doing things like, like I'll be like, okay, today I'm on a 800 limit calorie diet, so today I only eat 800 calories. I feel like eating this, so I'm going to type this in on my phone. It tells me that this is this many calories, and then it's, it's, it's it, that makes it much easier to keep up with. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, that's really good. There's a lot of handy apps that are out now for you to help out with your fitness. I know even in... And believe it or yeah. not, dude, there's this, I found out it was like covered on the news and like in the paper and everything, but... Tequila actually helps burn fat, which is no. like the best news I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, dude, the agave stuff that's in it, it not only does it tell your like in your mind, it tells your body like basically that you're like you're not hungry. It tells you not like not to eat or anything, but when you drink a whole bunch of tequila, the agave that's in it, 
it, it basically like tells your body like you don't need to eat right now. So because you know how sometimes when you're hammered, you're like, hey, I gotta hit the McDonald's and just body a Big Mac right now. When you when you drink tequila, it, that doesn't really like process in your mind. You don't feel like eating all the time. And not only that, but at the same time, uh, it actually burns calories rather than doing the complete opposite. Like if I was to drink ten beers, I put two pounds on. You know what I mean? So. I've actually been sticking to strictly tequila. I don't drink any chase when I drink. I just take shots of tequila because I can shoot it. And the pop is like is like one of the worst things, right? Because you drink too much pop, and then it's just like it's like poison when it comes to trying to lose weight. So I've just been drinking lots of tequila. I know it sounds bad, but that's pretty much been like my liquor diet as far as that goes. Oh, no, that makes sense, man. You get you got to drink, you got to party, and still have fun. And you when know, I saw if the you article can do it on Facebook, I was like, I can't believe this because it's on Facebook. But then I started seeing it on the news and shit. I was like, okay. This might be more real than I think. <laughs> and I'll, I'll body a 260 tequila, and then the next day I wake up and I'll lose two and a half pounds. And I'm like, okay, this is super unhealthy, but it's also working. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Anyway. That's good. That's good, man. Secret tricks. There you go. Tips. Yeah, tips sure. from Hercules on losing weight, people. Tequila. Yeah, exactly. Drink tequila if you're of age. <laughs> and don't drive. <laughs> <laughs> drink tequila but drink responsibly people so that's yeah, that's the always. message tonight no doubt that's what's up man word up well it's been great having you man you've you've been killing it in the game so far congratulations on the release of your new project it's out there you got the videos coming save us is on the way uh looking forward 100%. to check checking out the video for that and uh yeah everything that you got coming man looking forward to it and uh and Thank also you, connecting with you is always mutual bro i see you working hard too so Yes, sir. Salute, Love salute. It. Much respects, much respects. All right, well, I'll let you get back to uh, getting that ink on, get that Buddha gone. I'm, uh, I'm excited to see the picture when you, uh, when you post it. Oh, it's already done, man. It's on the Instagram. So after we oh, hang geez. up, you should go check it out. All right, I'm on it. I'm already on it. Awesome. Word up, man. Good, brother. I'll talk to you soon. Much respects, man. Have a good one. Peace, homie. Hey, peace.